Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this open shot tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the crop effect with animation. And so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a clip available. And then you're going to drag this down to your project timeline. And once you've done that, you're going to go to your effects tab. And here you're going to see the crop effect among the many other effects available. So just go ahead and highlight that and then drag it down over your clip. So once you've done that, you're going to see a symbol and it's going to have the letter C, which stands for crop. Now, one thing that is important is you want to make sure that you are at the beginning of the clip. So if your playhead is somewhere over here or in the middle, all you have to do is make sure the clip is selected and then go here to previous marker and it'll go back to the very beginning of the clip. And so I'll talk about why this is important a little bit later because it does play into the whole animation effect that we're going to apply. So once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and put your mouse over the C symbol. And when you right click, you're going to see two options, properties and remove effect. So what we want to do here is go to properties. And now you're going to see the properties for the crop effect. And as you could probably already tell, a crop effect has already been applied. And if you look here at the properties, you could crop it by the bottom, left, right, and top. So right now, crop has been applied. So you could adjust it here. So you could increase it or you could decrease it if you want. And if it goes down to zero, it removes that crop. And so as you can see, you could crop it however you want. And if you did start it at the very beginning of the playhead, then this will apply to the entire clip no matter where you're at and if you didn't want to reset everything all at once the easiest way to do that is you could simply just remove the effect so you just right click and then remove effect and now it's back to normal so that's how you would apply a crop effect and adjust the values it's very easy to do but now let's go ahead and apply an animation to it for all your email marketing needs, check out AWeber, the premier service news at geekoutdoors.com. Get signed up today for free and also get 100% free complete account migration. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So this is why it's important um, that you know where your actual playhead is at because that's going to determine where the animation occurs. So in this case, we're going to go to the very beginning. We'll do just like we did last time. Go to the beginning of the clip by going to previous marker. So now it's at the beginning. We're going to drag the crop effect down here again. And this time what I want to do is I want to start it off cropped. So in this case, I'm going to make it super small. And I'm going to go ahead and crop it down to this part of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the crop effect. And I'm going to go and adjust the crop values. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a really small square. So let's say the start of the video, it's going to look like this. It's a really small square. You can't really see everything. But you'll be able to see everything soon enough. So now that you have that there, what this has effectively done is it's created a keyframe at the very beginning. So you might not see this here. But once I create another keyframe, you'll be able to see that. So if you do change the actual values of the crop effect anywhere in your clip then it's going to create a keyframe so i'm going to go ahead and adjust the size right here on this portion of the playhead so let's go ahead and expand this a little bit more so we're going to decrease the crop and i'm going to do the same thing here and same thing here okay so now if you notice there are these green markers right here in the clip. So that is a keyframe. So I'm going to add another keyframe here. So let's go ahead and decrease this more. We'll make it like widescreen. And then at the end, uh, we'll go ahead and make it full size. Okay. So we'll go down to the value of zero. And you could definitely adjust these keyframes as well. If you actually choose it right here and then right click. You can adjust uh, different effects, the way it comes in and out, ease in and out. You can make it linear, constant. So all of these things actually adjust the smoothness of the keyframes. 
and at the same time it allows you to do other things as well with the ease and effect so you can play around with that and you can also insert a keyframe or remove keyframe so there are a lot of different options here available to you so now let's go ahead and go back to the very beginning and watch this again from the beginning to see how this looks like so it starts off with a little square and as it's going to the next keyframe it's actually animating to that crop value and as you can see it looks pretty cool in my opinion and it's actually taking in the values that you put in and then eventually it's going to go ahead and go back to the full size without any crop now obviously you could definitely adjust the speed of this by shortening your keyframes or removing a keyframe and then adding a new keyframe and that's all you have to do in order to first create a crop using the crop effect and then secondly applying animations to the crop effect so you could have a lot of fun with this uh, it mostly all have to do with keyframes but once you figure it out and you do it you know a few times it'll be really easy for you to do this anytime in the future so if you actually had any thoughts on this crop effect or the animations that can be applied through keyframes be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my open shot tutorials and tips i do have an entire playlist i'll leave that in the description area as well so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe hey geeks if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on youtube and other places on the internet then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.